export. Why you here? Chart breakout on this one here. Whitewood Young Industries. Explosive earnings, a 30% discount from book. Great cash flow, a couple of 5% holders. It's a dog. Very strong management. It's a dog, pal. This deal finances itself. You sell off two divisions. You keep that's the core business. not bad for a quant, but that's a dog with different fleas. Come on, pal. Tell me something I don't know. It's my birthday. Surprise me. Blue Star. What? Blue Star Airlines. Can I get the check here, please? For Christ sir. sakes. Would you cover that Blue Star buy? Put a couple hundred thousand on those Bow Wow stocks you mentioned. Pick the dog with the least fleas. I've been in this business since 69. Most of these Harvard MBA types, they don't add up to dog shit. Give me guys that are poor, smart, and hungry. And no feelings. You win a few, you lose a few. But you keep on fighting. And if you need a friend, get a dog. I'm afraid, pal, unless your father is on the board of directors of another company, <laughs> you and I are going to have a very tough time doing business together. What about hard work? What about it? You work hard? Bet you stayed up all night analyzing that dog shit stock you gave me, huh? Where to get you? Nice to meet you, Mr. Fox. Hello, Miss Janet. Well, I don't really know what to say. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lynch. No, no, I thank you, bud. The minute I laid my eyes on... What's your marketing strategy? How do you intend to return us to profitability? Why don't I give Buddy an opportunity to answer that? Buddy? Thank you, Gordon. First of all, I want you all to know that my door will always be open to you, because I know from my dad that it's you guys that keep Blue Star flying. Now, what I've come up with here is a basic three-point plan, all right? One, we modernize. Our computer software is dog shit. We update it. We make the rules, pal. The news, war, peace, famine, upheaval, the price of paperclip. We pick that rabbit out of the hat while everybody sits out there wondering how the hell we did it. Sir Lawrence, uh, can I call you Larry? What would you say to owning Blue Star Airlines with union concessions at $18 a share, and in the process, hanging Gordon Gecko out in the wind to twist? I might be very interested. Why you, mate? What's a bloke like you doing mixed up with Gecko? Well, let's just say that me and Mr. Gecko have a serious conflict of interest. Why don't you get the hell out of my office? I don't know. There's got to be a way out of this, Gordon. Sure, Harold. Why don't you dial 911? Hey, you, buddy. Gordon. Sandbag me on Blue Star. I guess you think you taught the teacher a lesson that the uh, tail can wag the dog. Huh? You think you could have got this far this fast with anybody else, huh? You think you'd be out there dicking someone like Darian? No. no. You'd be cold calling widows and dentists to buy 20 shares of some fucking dog shit stock. We're in the cellar, you know that. Okay. Is my hair okay? You look great. I'm serious. You're the prettiest woman in the room, sweetheart. <laughs> what did he do to his man? He was screwing his wife. Are you serious? Am I serious? No, yeah. absolutely. Hi, 
Aren't you forgetting something? Take the dog for a walk. The poor dog is popping out of this house all day. I gotta take him out. Well, bring the dog. I love animals. I'm a great cook. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> is turning to Noah's Ark. I mean, please, give her a kiss, all right? Hey, hey, guess what I'm looking at? Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. Well, I should say, I got her. What's she like? Well, she's, she's cute. She looks like a rabbit.
Oh, the bitty boy, the bitty, 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 bitty boy. He's <laughs> the best boy. He's the best boy. We love our bitty boy. Oh, he's a good boy, the bitty boy. We love our bitty boy. He is a pretty dog. He's a pretty dog. He's a pretty dog. Hey, Benny. Dumb dog. Hey, Benny. Come on, let's see if he'll go for it again. Benny. Hi! Yeah, dumb. Everybody, huh? I guess you're the only one who gets a damn about me in this family. Oh my god! Oh my god! Do something! Fire! Mom! Fire! Dad! Dad! Fire! Oh, Call the police! I got the extinguisher! Nine, nine, one. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, one, one. I'm not convinced. Nobody who makes pate this good can be all bad. That depends on what the pate is made of. Oof. Benny. A good dog to the last bite. consecutive games is probably the most impressive feat in all of sports and in my opinion will never be broken. Come here big guy. His condition is so sad. Yes but even blind he still gets around. I don't drink normally but this was turning out to be one fucked up day and now I found myself in close proximity to Sarah's husband and his dog Poe. Good dog. Easy. 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 Easy
Okay. All right. Do you have a mirror? It's the best way to see if someone's still breathing. The dog is dead, James. Believe me, I know a dead dog when I see one. Oh, hang on. Oh. 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 It's still warm. Let's try my feet first. Oh. do anything bad well James you did shoot the head of the English department's dog and steal his most prized piece of memorabilia Okay, decoy. We'll put a couple of your pillows and a little teddy bear under the spread. She won't know the difference. No, 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 no. I got a better idea. Good night, sweet prince. It appears one of our students is missing. And his parents found a dead dog in his bed. Here comes the puberty police now. It's the Chancellor. We're fine, we're just fine. Fine, right. Fit is a fucking fiddle. James, come on. Uh. Fit is a fucking fiddle. James, come on. Holy shit. Are you serious? I'll give you a present. <laughs> Bingo. Sarah, this is your... Oren. Nice to meet you. How old are you? Ten on my birthday. Next Friday. Hey, wait a minute. What's, uh, what's with the dog? He's a stray. I found him by the house. Happy birthday. I found your mother. It's not my birthday. Yeah, but you'll be with your mother on Friday. And you can take this with you. Hey, hey, guys, guys, step back, will you? You're making me nervous. Boys, leave Mr. Little alone. Too much noise! Too Dog! <laughs> and I bet you think your kids are funny. I am her legal guardian. The only one that outranks me is her mother. You don't count. Now, if you're looking for someone to mother at your late stage in life, I suggest you get a dog.
This is the worst start to what I consider a potentially intimate relationship. Come on, it's not that bad, is it? Oh, really? I had a dog once that wouldn't leave my crotch alone, and it was more romantic than this. Oh! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh. What are you doing? Stabbing my baby. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, it's not up to oh, me. Sarah, please call 911. I called 911. <gasps> Bueno, subas y levante la lona. Bueno, y esa lona, ¿qué tiene abajo? Son cajas de las comida. Cajas, pues quite la lona a ver las cajas. Yo le esculqué la ropa el otro día. Y mira lo que encontré. ¿Qué es eso? So you're working through this? So you're working through dinner? Dog problems around here, huh? You're free to go.
I also know that you're in a lot of pain. Because nobody's in this place without a reason. So maybe we'll talk next week. Close the curtains. I like the view. Good. Now, on the bureau by the door is a cell phone. I know what you're thinking. Don't. By the time you hit the one in 911, Jesse will be dead. Just, uh, I want to let you know that I'm, I'm, I'm coming home for her birthday. No, you're not coming here. Listen, Beth. I gotta see you. No. How's Adele? Try to get a job. Hey, this is my park. I live here. Come on, you got two of them. What do you need two of them for? You're right. Here. Are you serious? Please, here. don't leave. Look, there's only one thing you can do to really feel safer. Next time there's a proposition on the ballot that cuts the number of patrol cars in the street, you vote no, okay? Have a nice day. I want to hear it from you. What's wrong with the street? Nothing. I knew it. See? I knew it was fine. But I'll give you something to fix. Oh, Jesus, man, what the hell? Here! Is that, man? What are you Hey, Charlie! Oh, please, man! Charlie, we got a goddamn nut here!
want. I'll stick the dog on you. Police officers, ma'am. Where's the dog? He's dead. What'd you grab? Friend of gas here. Who the fuck is this? Boy. Hun? Yeah, hun. I know who that was. Listen, honey, something important has come up, all right? What am I, dog vomit? Goodbye. Let's go. knows how to walk this thing. It's her damn door. Oh, I China's out. Hey, why not a second home while we're at it? Because you is. I mean, we all know the prices of houses in America always go up, right? 
and his greed that makes the government in this country cut the interest rates to 1% after 9-11. Locust Fund. Uh, never heard of it, but it's possible. Yeah. James wants to build his alternative energy sector. It sounds serious. If they can get him to put real capital behind this company, I think I told you about United Fusion. Well, James, you probably want to polish his resume a little green. I mean, he's in pole position to be top dog when Julie Steinhardt kicks the bucket, which I hear could be any day now. He chose us. Are we really gonna leave with this Babco Solar? September 17th, 2001. That's the day markets opened after the attacks of 9-11. Well, tell me this, hypothetically. I feel a nightmare coming on. What would happen if I called Sidney Wade and asked her to be my date at the state dinner on Thursday evening? You're not serious. Don't I sound serious? Yes, hi, good morning. Is this Carmen's House of Flowers? Good, I'd like to order some flowers, please. Well, tell me, what is the state flower of Virginia? Well, is there anybody there who might know? No, I'm not trying to be difficult. Uh, hang on, please. Janie, what is the state flower of Virginia? Mrs. Chapel, state flower of Virginia? The dogwood. The dogwood, sir. Thank you. It's the dogwood. Brad's family yet? No, I'm a little worried about that. About what? Well, the father, he's a doctor. You know how they are. I think they're better than all the rest of us. He's probably a brain surgeon or something. I need you to listen to me carefully now because it's getting very, very serious. France. I just came back from Europe. I'm barely adjusted to the time change. This deal has got to go down by Sunday. If you're not serious about broking a deal for Olga... I am serious. That's him! That's the guy! That's who I got it from! The homeless guy? Great. An arms dealer and a smart ass. The meter maid is the hostess! Nobody is who they are here. It sounds like you're tripping on drugs, pal. Look, he's talking to me! Hi there. <clears throat> Oh, 
What are you doing? Do you have to do this right now? The stars are in a perfect position. They won't be like this for another year. I can't stop you, can I? Serious. 